Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So, uh, I'm just going to quickly plan out some of my Bangladeshi Uri. Um, we're going to go and try and do a completely uh, raw cut first time and get it right because I can't edit these videos at the moment. My laptop's not working. And so, what I'm going to do is we're going to start off. I've just peeled back the mulch and I'm going to make a small hole. life in that it's just full of worms so add some compost to the planting hole this is all homemade compost There's a nice little root ball. So there's three plants here. Let's see which ones. Which one I can separate? That one I can separate quite easily. So I'll pull that one apart. Those two are going to be a bit more difficult to separate, so I'm not going to bother separating them. They're going straight into the hole. separating them they're going straight in and here we go let's get all that on a bit more compost to mulch over the top and I'll pull the mulch back over it so we've had some real really nice rains today so I want to get as much planted as I can while the ground's wet and while while we've still got forecasted rain. If I can get stuff planted while we've still got forecasted rain, that would be a plastic. If I can get stuff planted while we've still got forecasted rain, the rain will settle everything into the ground. So I'll just peel back the meat mulch like that. That's the good thing about this mulch is it keeps the soil nice and um, nice and wet. See, we've had these inside, and because we've had them inside, we didn't, we've not had the space to let them just grow wild. They've tangled back up on themselves. That one's already got beans on it. I'm not. I'm not gonna mess with that too much. I'm just. I'm just gonna stick it in. 
I don't want to risk it with that one. That one's already full tin. I started messing with it. I don't want to. I don't want to destroy what something that's already looking good. And so that can go straight in. So if I am a little bit quiet on the video replay, I do apologise, because normally what I do is when when I do the editing, I'll buffer the sounds, you know, the sound of the wind out a little bit, and I'll turn the volume of my voice up a little bit so you can hear me nice and clearly. But I haven't got any of that at the moment, so I'm having to shout. So like a bit of a madman in the garden. time to plant them actually, it's nice and windy. Um, so what's going to happen is these, it's not too windy, but that wind should help thicken these uh, plants up and make them a bit stronger. This plastic pot's on its way out. I think it's about the t tenth season, ninth, ninth or tenth season. This plastic pot's been here. It's one of the first pots that I got when I started up at this plot. So there we go. Still use that. I think I'll get one more use out of that one.
can see I don't like normally putting these videos out in these unedited states because they take um, normally uh, the videos that I make they're quite short and you can see why they're quite short because it takes me a long time to do what I'm doing once I edit it uh, edit them down hides a lot of the work that I put in but it keeps it a bit more interesting for you guys instead of being so boring so we will keep pausing the camera um, not bore you too much it is pretty much the same process over and over again Every time I tangle it round, it I'll let me one sort that out. You see that that's, that's my secret. I'm a true gardener in this house. See, it's just a, this is just a strawberry punnet or a grape box or whatever it might have been a grape box or a strawberry punnet whatever it is um, and that's all we all we used These things grow everywhere.
Museum. Okay, so we managed to untangle those and get those planted in. All these pots and these containers will get used again. Um, there's lots of plants that I need to pot up still. So I'm still going to be potting stuff up. And I'll be using those right now as we speak. <laughs> I need your help time please. So over next there's my Uri's planted out. Uh, these are my Bangladeshi Uri's. So these are a special a type of Bangladeshi beans. Uh, they're quite flat. Um, you can see we've got two varieties, we've got the purple variety and the green variety. Um, they've already started growing there. What we'll do is we'll carry on filling this bed up with more and more of these beans. And then over the next, um, hopefully when I get my computer back, then I'll try and get you an edited video of this stuff out. And an edited video update of the garden out instead of watching me uh, just uh, pottering about for so long. Um, I'm not sure when it's going to be because that laptop that, that's just packed in, it wasn't that old, it was, it was quite recent, I can't quite afford a, a new laptop right now, so um, we'll, we'll see uh, when I can get a new laptop, but in the meantime I'll just carry on trying to get this kind of video out, uh, I know it's not the best, but what can I do, so I'll leave it there, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi